Welcome to our channel. Ana de Armas has left Hollywood for remote home off the grid. Movie star Ana de Armas has revealed she's left Hollywood and is now primarily based in a remote home off the grid. Ana de Armas has revealed she left Hollywood for a simpler life. During a recent interview with E! News at the premiere of her latest film Eden at the Toronto International Film Festival, de Armas explained she chose to leave Los Angeles for rural Vermont on the East Coast to get away from the craziness of the world. We all want to have the chance to build your own safe space. I've made that decision myself. I found a home where I really feel off the grid, she explained. I can collect myself and only bring there who I want to be with. I have my little cocoon there. The Knives Out star previously received a lot of attention when she began a relationship with Ben Affleck after they met on the set of their 2019 movie, Deep Water. They would go on to break up in January 2021. It is uncertain if that contributed to her decision to move, but she described feeling as if she needed to change something in her life. You just feel it when it's time to change, she explained. Look out for yourself. There's a time when you learn what's good for you and what's not. What serves you the most? Pay attention to that and take action. De Armas had her big break when she starred in the 2019 film, Knives Out, alongside Christopher Plummer, Daniel Craig, Chris Evans, Jamie Lee Curtis, and other big names. After starring in a few more films, including No Time to Die, in which she reunited with Craig, De Armas portrayed Marilyn Monroe in the Netflix movie Blonde, which focused on the rise and fall of the legendary star. The role earned the actress her first Academy Award nomination. While the movie was critically acclaimed, audiences were less positive in their reviews. De Armas admitted to The Hollywood Reporter in March 2023 that it was hard to hear these reactions, but in those moments she looks back to what attracted her to the project. That is not going to change. You have the director, and you have other actors that you can always talk to, she told the outlet. As hard as it is to hear when people don't like your film, it is what it is. It was not a movie that was made to please people or to make people like it. It is a hard movie to watch. Although she has left Los Angeles, she told E! News in March 2023, that she will always have a connection to the city due to her work in Blonde. Everywhere we went, all the locations, everywhere you go, she's there, she said. Everyone has a story about her, so we definitely all felt her presence in the sense of that spiritual energy, and I think that definitely helped with the commitment and that willingness of everyone doing right by her and loving the process of making this movie even more.